in this video we are going to work on a simple interest problem as you already know there are two different types of interests so interest can be classified into two different uh, groups the first one is called as simple interest and uh, you have also heard about something called as compound interest so what's the difference between simple interest and compound interest in simple interest the interest uh, you get if if we are talking about investing uh, in simple interest you get interest only on the principal amount that you have invested so for example if you invest uh, hundred dollars in a bank that pays five percent simple interest uh, for five years that means for every hundred dollars you are earning five dollars annually right so if you invest hundred dollars uh, after first year you will get five dollar interest after second year uh, even though you have now one hundred and five dollar in the bank uh, you will get interest only on the principal amount which is the first hundred dollars that you invested so uh, another five years second year and so on and so forth so you will not earn interest on interest in simple interest you will earn interest only on the principal amount uh, versus compound interest uh, in this type of interest you will earn interest on the principal amount that you invested as well as the interest that you earned subsequently so for example in year one if you invested hundred dollars at five percent compounded interest then uh, first year uh, because your principal amount was hundred dollars first year you will earn five dollars on it five percent of hundred is five dollars uh, that will be first year interest but uh, at the beginning of second year now you have 105 dollars invested in the bank so you will get uh, interest on 105 dollars uh, you will get interest on the principal amount as well as the interest that you earned in the last year so that's the very basic difference uh, most uh, most of the time uh, almost all the time uh, in real life uh, when they tell you interest on credit cards or interest in a bank or uh, your mortgage we are talking about compound interest uh, simple interest is is good to know but uh, but most calculations in real life are done based on compound interest so with that information uh, this video focuses on uh, how to calculate simple interest and uh, I will make another video where we will talk about compound interest so let me read this simple problem and then we will solve it mr. Wood opens a savings account by depositing $2,000 the account pays 2% simple interest this is important 2% simple interest right it will be given to you uh, in in most of the problems uh, they will tell you whether it is simple interest or not but if it is not given in the problem statement by default you are supposed to assume compound interest if it is not given then assume compound interest uh, if it is given then there is no problem uh, so that's that so here mr woods uh, mr wood opens a savings account by depositing two thousand dollar in the bank right and the bank is paying simple interest at two percent after three years mr wood makes another deposit this time for four thousand dollar so initial deposit of two thousand dollar and three years after the first deposit he makes another deposit for four thousand dollar uh, what will be the amount in the account when mr wood withdraws the money eight years eight years after the first deposit so he is going to put that money there in the bank for eight years and our uh, job is to calculate uh, what will be the total amount of money he will have after eight years okay so far so good so uh, before i actually start uh, doing some calculations i would like to introduce few uh, letters to you uh, that those letters you will uh, come across uh, in all kinds of uh, economics problems 
uh, particularly uh, here I'm talking about engineering economic analysis. So uh, the letter F, okay, whenever you see letter F, that means we are talking about future value, future value, Late future value of money or future investment, investment made in the future, right? Or uh, cash deposits made in future can be represented by letter F. P indicates present worth or present value, you can say. So the, the, the first deposit, right? The first deposit Mr. Wood uh, is making $2,000. He's making it in the current year, right? So that would be P value. That would be the P value, right? Uh, then A, uh, letter A indicates annual payments. So for example, uh, the monthly rent that you pay, uh, that is monthly, but it is still repeat. Basically, I wouldn't say annual payments. A refers to periodic payments. It can be monthly, it can be uh, annually, it can be weekly, depending uh, on the context of the problem. So for example, your monthly rent, because it's the same amount you deposit every, uh, you pay every month. So that would be uh, something called as A. It's a repetitive cash flow that either you earn it or you pay it uh, on a periodic basis. In this problem, we don't have A, later A, because uh, Mr. Woods is not making uh, in investments, a similar amount of investment every year or every month. He just made two deposits, right? So there is no periodic payments there. There is two one-off payments. So we don't have to worry about A, but in some problems, uh, you will also see uh, periodic payments. So very important letters. F, future value, P, present value, and A, periodic payments. Uh, with that, I would also like to uh, introduce a couple of uh, other letters. I is always, uh, I indicates interest rate. Interest rate. And uh, letter N indicates uh, the number of periods. So it can be, it, it, mostly in our problem, it is number of years. Periods can be either years, months, weeks. Again, it depends on the context of the problem, right? But uh, number of periods, or in our case, number of years. So these are very important letters. Uh, once you understand these letters, then uh, different formulas that we are going to use, uh, you will see these letters showing up in those various formulas that we will discuss uh, in this video as well as in future videos. So uh, F for future value, P for present value, A for periodic payments, I for interest rate, and N for number of periods. So that's good. Now, uh, next question is, what is the formula for simple interest? So let's talk about that. Simple interest is equal to uh, principal amount, right? The interest get charged on the principal amount multiplied by I, interest rate. So for example, your principal amount is $100. And if you uh, are getting 5% interest, then 5% of 100 would be $5, right? For one year. Uh, so we have to also multiply this by N, which is the number of years. PIN, right? Simple interest is PIN. The principal amount times the interest rate times number of years. And then if you want to calculate the total amount, the, uh, the, the future value, let's put it like a future value. If you want to calculate, uh, you have to uh, cons first you have to consider your principal amount p plus uh, you add interest to that right the future value would be the present value of the money that you invested plus the total amount of interest simple interest we are talking about this time uh, total amount of interest that you earned so p plus p 
times i times n and sometimes you will see in some textbook uh, they take p common out so that would be uh, if you take the this p in both terms if you take it out uh, you will get one plus i n or i times n right uh, we took the p uh, common term out here so that is the that is the basic formula to calculate f with simple interest right so now with that understanding uh, let's work on these numbers here uh, so let's calculate the future value of this first deposit first deposit is two thousand dollar so let's calculate future value after eight years uh, and then we will separately consider four thousand but right now let's focus on two thousand okay no problem i can simply put two thousand here p value uh, so same thing i did calculations here f is equal to 2000 the principal amount p value plus p times i times n 2000 uh, interest rate is 2% simple interest so 2% which is 2 divided by 100 0 0.02 times 8 years the money was deposited for 8 years so that will give us uh, the future value of initial deposit first deposit but that's not all right we also need to consider the second deposit that was made three years after the first deposit so then we can add that plus p four thousand dollars right that was made uh, the second deposit value of second deposit principal amount plus uh, we have to calculate interest on that deposit so again p i n right so four thousand divided by two percent uh, not divided by sorry four thousand multiplied by two percent multiplied by five because uh, this deposit was made three years after the first deposit so it was only made for five years so far right so that's why uh, we have to multiply by five and not by eight so uh, because second deposit remains in the account for five years so now it's all we can just uh, add all of these things and we will get the answer and that answer is so if i uh, that answer the future value if you do all this calculation it comes to six thousand seven hundred and twenty dollars so total money that was deposited uh, was four thousand plus two thousand six thousand and mr woods earn an interest of seven hundred and twenty dollars plus his principal amount which is six thousand that will be your final answer so i will stop here uh, in next video i will explain uh, a problem with compound interest